Hey everyone, this is Jax on the channel The Jackster. I got a great guy here today with me, Mirhut, and we're going to show you some awesome things to be able to get to Wither Star without too much trouble. So, what do you say, Mir? Yep, yeah, uh, my name is Mirhut. I play on the Broke Rock server with Mr. Jackster over here, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and combine our ideas for the Wither Killer. Super. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> I found this this nice little design right here uh, while doing all my testing and trying to find new and inventive ways to kill the weather. And I found that if you stand on the west side, which is over here, and I was just told we have a sunflower trick over here, uh, <laughs> or you take out a map and you find whichever side is on the west face. We have some mats over here if you want to grab one real quick. Ah, perfect. Perfect. All right. So you take yourself a map, you make sure you're facing to the west. Okay, then you turn right the way around. These two blocks are imperative. If you don't have these two blocks right here on the bottom of the fountain, it just won't work and your wither will be in the overworld at spawn. Uh, <laughs> that will yeah. not be fun. Uh, and then in line with the bottom of the fountain, you skip one block and then you go ahead and set up your, your wither station right there. And now the port, the, I'm sorry, the fountain will contain your wither. Perfect. <clears throat> and that's kind of what I've got listed down here on the sign for you guys. We'll take it a second here and let you see. You gotta have the one space between the, the fountain and the wither set up. You got your wither set up here. And then as Mir was saying, you need these two crucial blocks, otherwise <laughs> your spawn's gonna be having a lot of fun. It's, then, uh, that was super fun to figure out the first time though. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you'll remember <laughs> if you don't. <laughs> uh, and I think in your tutorial too you said you could have a block. Um, you you can't put a third right block here, down, yes. But you yeah. don't have to. That's correct. Okay. And like he was talking about here, I always use this. You can use the maps uh, if you're, but if your map, uh, you know, you're not very good with maps. You know, we're not going to say any names, but but if you're not good <laughs> with maps, because <laughs> you put a piece of dirt down with a sunflower and it always points to the east. And these weather traps we need to build to towards the west, like he was saying. Um, to give you some dimensions, I'm going to call this this thing here, the addition to his killer, I'm going to call it the uh, the wither safety box. And what this is going to do is keep you from having to repair all of your uh, in island. Otherwise, that wither would just destroy it by shooting out at these random endermen or maybe even you too. I think everybody saw from uh, from my video how destroyed the end was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the terrier went into all the heck. So uh, this will help out. So I've just got some more signs to kind of show you what we're going to do, and then we'll get on to actually testing it. Uh, so you need to, to dig it down and get a square here and make this level to at Y63. Uh, this box is a 17 by 17 square with the fountain exactly in the middle. So if you count the fountain as one block and you go over, it's nine uh, to the outside edge. So right here, five blocks out. The so outer wall. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, and then the fountain. And I'm just going to take this away now. We don't need that. We don't need this. The signs and everything will be okay. The weather is going to blow all those up anyway. Uh, so the things you'll need you need four soul sand per wither kill, three wither skeletons or skulls per wither. Uh, you might use the map, some in stone or whatever kind of blocks you're going to need. But we need about nine stacks of any block you want to use for the wall. Uh, you're going to need 72 buckets of water, but you can just make yourself a uh, infinite water source with two. True. So let's, we'll go with that. Just for example. So if you don't have one, make yourself an infinite water source. And then uh, the optional dirt and the sunflower, just check the direction out. And then we got over here, this wall is six up from where I'm standing and I'm on Y64 here. Very nice. And, and then uh, we'll just build up this area here. So I'm gonna do that. We'll probably do a time-lapse, uh, the building, at least on my video anyway, for it. <laughs> I do like this. Though. I like I like that again that it doesn't destroy completely the end. It doesn't 
Yeah. I like it. Yeah, it gives you protection. I mean, we, we will be able to uh, survive. I've done it. This is the first time I've died in this setup. <laughs> but I was kind of out walking around showing off. <laughs> oh, no. And of course, it's on camera, so, you know. Right, right. <laughs> So it's just five blocks out every direction from the edge. And that's right here. Well, it's a five block fix... gap, yeah. And it's yeah. on the sixth one you go build up. Nice. And I like that. And you're digging down a one block uh, lower than what the uh, portal, the fountain is. Right, right, right. You're, giving the, that, you're doing you're that for a nice your little platform. Mm -hmm. And then how many blocks high is it to the first lip here? If you're inside, it's seven. But if you're outside, it's six. It's uh, Y. So it should be 70, 69 and Y70. Okay, so Y69, Y70, and then your ground is 63. 63, oh. yeah. I like it. Yep. I do like it. And then, of course, your nether star will be in the overworld. Yep. Right at spawn, along with three skeletons. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I've had weird reactions up. Sometimes only one of them's there, sometimes all three. Right. So... Or they would be in the B bus on the Rock Rock server. Yeah. I did have a um, one of my viewers suggested that underneath here uh -huh. you put a minecart hopper, and that will collect the star for you. So, where would you put it? Your results may vary, but you, you just make a minecart hopper rail underneath the fountain. Yeah, and it'll suck the uh, the Wither Star out before it teleports to the overworld. See, I thought oh. about that digging underneath there too and putting chickens. <laughs> you know, because he, he's yeah. hitting everywhere he can target. He is. But, he is. All right, you want to try this one more time? You got time? Sure. Okay. Right. Let's uh, do it and try to survive. <laughs> Which I think we will. I don't think it'll be a problem. Let me get change the spec tick. You ready for game mode survival? Okay, game mode survival. Uh, should be at all, right? At yeah. Me. Have okay. Boom. I have hearts. All right. Okay. Cool. I'm ready. Yep. Okay. Here it comes. Boom. And again, I'm going to try to go over here and swim up this wall and yep. try to do what you said. Yep. Same here. I'm getting to the, the wall. Climb the wall. Going up. You just don't. You don't want to go over the wall. I just got. He just knocked me over the wall. <laughs> That's okay. I can climb back up. I can fill it back up. I have yeah. dirt. I have dirt. Even if he stayed out of it, you'd be okay. But but you can climb back up and get back in. Now, like I said, Honestly, I'm being, here being in super... Uh, watching him uh, having a fun time. And the water stream keeps you pretty safe right here in the corner. Yeah, it kind of it, it does. <clears throat> and every once in a while, he might send something out that hits the uh, outer pillars, but you're protecting basically the island. Woo. And I don't really know what he's targeting sometimes when he's shooting way out. Looks like he can see all the Endermen and everything. Yeah, I mean, he's just, he's just sending them wherever. Those those blue skulls are the problem when you have it in hard mode. Because they'll even break obsidian, so this water is a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. And that's where I think we get a few of the blocks you might have to replace uh, during this. But at least, you know, you're not replacing a couple hundred or 300 blocks on the end island oh, all over. Yeah, me, I'd, I'd, I'd build this, let it go, let him die, and then do cleanup afterwards. If a couple of blocks escaped... You know, from what he broke, I wouldn't be worried about that. Yeah, yeah. J just this right here keeps keeps your. All my viewers saw what my end looked like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it worked. He died. That ever ever fought the wither? They know how they tear up everything. Yeah. You know, and, and that's it's not the wither's not too bad, except for he runs over and just tears everything up all the time. Yeah. And so this this uh, wither safety box keeps him, uh, you know, kind of contained for his destruction. And then your method of capturing and making him smother inside the uh, the blocks takes care of him. So Absolutely. We, together does. we had a good good concept. I think that takes care of the. the I like it. He, he's blown nice nice little hole in that wall over there. Yeah. <laughs> Let me run over here. Take a look at it. Putting dirt back. <laughs> yeah, and that's kind of what I did first to start out, so I can see which blocks he's breaking. But it's completely random. Random. I've, I've done it many times, and it just depends on what he's targeting at the time, where the walls get broken. Right. Because there's a lot of Endermen right here. And uh, honestly, the water's still going down over those holes, so nothing ever gets outside of the box. 
That's awesome. I like that. So there he is. Let's see if we get hit on this. I'm back here in the corner. Go kaboom. Come on, guy. There he Yay. is. Nope, didn't even take a, a touch. Yeah. That was awesome. And as pure, pure uh, Mirror Hut's video, if you haven't watched it, go check it out because uh, he does show you exactly more explanation on, and where everything's going to go and how it happens. Uh, so if you want to go grab that, we come back, we'll try one more thing. Or we'll just fix our box back up. Just fixing those blocks right there. <laughs> okay. With whatever I have. Back into create, create a, uh... He didn't do too too big of a too big of a hole. Just this little one right here. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes you know there's more holes around the end portal or the fountain, and sometimes there's just a few all over. But you know this is a lot easier to fix than going back and fixing your whole uh... your whole entire end. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we all know that the, the uh, uh, instar will go back to the spawn. So if you want, we can go over here and, and use the setup for the uh, uh, in city gateway. Okay. Let me show how it works. It's basically the same way. A little different setup for the uh, start with a killer. Now this is different for us too. This is going to be even easier for us. All we do is let the water flow us to the center. So if we drop down, we'll switch this back to uh, survival. Okay. Just stand with our heads against the wall. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll, yeah, you can <laughs> actually get down into swimming mode. But if you show up here, uh, I don't know if you can see. Did you bring weather skulls with you? Uh, yes. Okay. If you want to place them, and what we'll do is we'll just stay right here. I did uh, swim down in just swimming mode and just hide underneath here. But just standing right here, you on one side and me on the other side should work. Alright, here we go. We've got the skull. Okay, got... so you'll be on the, the right side. Okay. Just let the Ready water for the third one? And stay there once you place it. Boom. Okay. Yep, yeah. If you want to stay on the other side of it. Okay. There you go. You, you should be get knocked out, but you're good. Right. Now, this is cool. I wonder if I put a piece of dirt like right there. I want it to fight the current. There we go. <laughs> I put a piece of dirt against the obsidian just so I wouldn't okay. have to fight the current. Yeah, they kind of help you moving around. That's awesome. And he's going to do the same thing, just aimlessly throw his skull against the wall. Let's see if I can turn my game settings down. <laughs> uh -oh. oh man, it just crashed. Uh oh. You, are you still in the world? I am. Okay, go ahead and finish it up on your side if you want. Uh, disconnected. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that bites. Hey guys, so at that point of the video, we lost connection and try and try and try, we could not get it back. So I'm going to play you what he sent me was a little clip of how it would work in a nether portal gateway. Okay. In conjunction with, you know, my method of knocking out the middle and yeah, <laughs> just a little reminder of what it looked like before we had a uh, safety box and enjoy the clip. Hey guys, we're back over here now at the, uh, gateway in city to the in cities uh, from the in portal and this setup uh, if you've, you've already checked out mirror huts video it tells you how to do this but you do may, need to make sure you've already killed the wither here um, there's a couple of different ways to do it actually fight it and then you'll use this setup uh, and allow it to uh, knock out the gateway portal or you summon it into the portal like he shows and then you turn the world to a peaceful mode if you're in survival uh, that will clear out that uh, wither and then you can start on with using this method um, the box is the same uh, as we used over for the fountain area the setups here were five long and then we do have uh, do need to use obsidian but this setup right here is the same as what you normally would be summoned the, the uh, wither And where you see an obsidian, you do need to use obsidian. For some reason, my water was not going right, and you need to make sure you're standing in water uh, for this to work. So after I summon it, I will go to the other side uh, just to make sure I'm summon I stand in the water, and that that's protecting you. As you can see, uh, the safety box is the same as what we used on the end fountain, 
and I'm, it's just one block below the bottom of this end gateway. So make sure you have that, that's very important. Otherwise the wither will blow out the bottom and this won't work. Uh, I've tested it multiple times, so it should be good. Again, this is just a, the wither safety box that I built over on the uh, other side we showed you in the beginning of the video. Uh, it's a 17 by 17 and the box needs to make sure you go one, uh, the floor of it needs to be uh, one below a space between that, that and the end gate way uh, uh, to the end cities. I just want to make sure you understand that. It's very important. Uh, like I said, I went around and I'm not down into the water. Uh, the wither's doing his thing. He's going to blow up, you know, try to target for everything he can. He does do some block damage, but pretty much, you know, you're saving your end island and you're safe because you're in the water. Um, you can get withered. And uh, so if you have a chance to bring uh, uh, probably some milk or uh, a golden apple, whatever, help you from dying, that would be a good thing to do. Um, we didn't do that work completely. We used no armor or anything, uh, no tools. So we just wanted to show you how well this worked. And we'll just let him suffocate now, do his thing. We'll look around and see if I can show you some good views of what's going on. As you can see, they're each punched out a couple holes. But, you know, if you bring yourself an extra stack of, of blocks, whatever you want to use, and the water never gets messed up as far as I, my testing, so you, you don't have to worry about that too much. You see, you knocked me out there at the second explosion, but I just let the water push me right back in. And just going to town. He's wanting to blow everything up, but the good thing with the... Uh, the water you can't do it and you see one of the weather skeletons spawn and basically killed it uh, I have done in the past have a looting sword and trying to reach up or smacking but uh, the wither seems pretty temperamental and he could escape uh, if you start smacking around so I'm not 100% sure on that but I do know for sure if you uh, just leave him alone he'll suffocate in the, the portal and you'll benefit with another star. So we're almost done here. You see, I've gotten knocked around a couple times, but didn't lose any health. And again, that's all because of the water. You see where the wither skeletons died of the bones and, and coal? There he is, he's finishing dying. I do his last animation. And he's gonna give up the goods. Some XP. And now oh sweet, another star. There you go. Uh, the wither died, did some damage to our safety box, but that's okay. It's a safety box. It's not a, a foolproof, a full un, you know, undamageable uh, box. So let's switch back here and show you something. Yeah, we can jump on a box. There's the beautiful nether star. <laughs> so, unlike uh, having it happen over on the uh, uh, the fountain and the end portal, here the uh, nether star stays here for you to easily get, and we could just re you know redo the whole process again. I would suggest uh, repairing the holes that the weather did cause or create, which uh, you know it's not a lot. I'm not worried about that right now, but as you see, then you just have to set your recreate this setup too. So many men. And we'll just put that there for now. And uh, so that obsidian is still there. The top obsidian is gone. You do want to make sure you replace that top obsidian before you uh, uh, set up the, uh, the wither summon again. And, you know, you don't need these blocks. I've obviously removed those too. And just do it however many times you need. Uh, just make sure you got at least a handful of blocks to repair. Now I don't even have a pick on me. I don't have any armor. Uh, we were doing this all without any armor. 
So you definitely could be better prepared. Bring yourself a golden apple in case you do get withered for some accidental reason. It could happen. But overall, this is a pretty good safe method for you to be able to farm uh, nether stars with the weather. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great one. Thanks for your help, uh, Mirhut. Uh, your design is what got me thinking about how to how to protect it with the water. So we have this safety base here. All right, bye guys. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that clip. Uh, and just to show you that the safety box does work on the end gateway, which are those little deals that spawn once you kill the dragon. And this is definitely a, a welcome addition to how to kill the wither, uh, the safety box to make sure you don't just destroy your end. So go ahead and find his channel. I'll put the link in the description below and like and subscribe to The Jackster. And as well, like and subscribe to this video if you want to see some more content. And I'm always looking for new ways to kill the weather and I'm always taking comments and suggestions. So guys, we're on the road to 1000 and we are almost to 500 where I get to do my little pit stop and 500 sub special. So see you next time.